Good morning. It's Friday, May the 8th. I'm Pastor Roddy Chester with Open Door Family Fellowship in San Angelo, Texas. And we're doing some pandemic preaching, getting some, some bacon going this morning here for this Friday morning, cooking a little breakfast. This morning I wanted to take a look at what the Bible has to say in the New Testament in Ephesians chapter 6. It says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and that thou mayest live long in the earth. You know, one of the things that <clears throat> I've always thought about as I study that passage of Scripture is the difference between obeying and honoring. You know, it uses both words there. It's addressed to children. It says, it says children, obey your parents in the Lord. Now, uh, the word obey is a term that means to, uh, to hear under or to be under authority, uh, to conform to a command. So that one makes perfect sense. You know, you, you and I, we're supposed to obey our parents. Uh, the authority figure in a child's life is their parents. And that's the way God has designed it. It's one of the spheres of government that God has given to us. He's given us three spheres of government in the Bible. Uh, the family, the, the civil government, and the church government. And so, you know, you, you, can, you can see that. But my conviction is, <clears throat> because I've noticed it in my own life, when I, and, and, and I see it in my children, I see it other places, and that is that the Bible tells us to honor our parents, to honor our mother. There is a difference between obeying and honoring. You know, you can obey somebody with absolute contempt. You, you can actually obey an order or a command that you do not like the person who has given you that command. And so many times I see this kind of attitude in children's lives that they go through the, the steps of obedience, but as they're doing it, <clears throat> there's no honor involved with it. Now, let me give you an, an example. Let, let me show you. Uh, parent, take out the trash. Child. as they stomp out to the dumpster. Now, did they obey? Yes, they, they did what they were told. Did they honor their mama when she told them to do that? Not even a little bit. You see, the, the word that's used here that's translated honor, it means to have in reverence. It means to venerate. It, it means to... It means to... to to fear, and really, if we were to look into the Old Testament, those words are used uh, to speak of the way that you should deal with your parents as well as the way that you should deal with God. Now, that doesn't mean you should worship your parents, but the Bible tells us to fear God. And so, if you're going to honor your mother, you're going to have a reverence for her, that you're going to cherish her, you're going to value her, you're going to hold her in high esteem. Are you going to obey her? Yes, yes. A child that's still in their parents' home underneath the authority of their parents, yes. You are to obey your parents according to God's Word, yes. But more than that, obeying is not enough. You know, it says there that this is the first commandment with a promise that thy days may be long in the earth that the Lord thy God giveth thee. When I was younger and I used to read that, I used to think, well, you know, if I don't obey my parents, they, they might end me. <laughs> that, might be, that might be the end of me. That's why my life might not be long in the earth. But there's a blessing that is associated with honoring your parents. And, and you know, if you think about a life of rebellion, a life of, of just disobedience, if you don't learn to honor and obey and love your parents, and you don't respect the authority that they have in your life, 
Well, you're not going to respect the authority of the civil government. You're not going to respect the authority of the law. You're not going to respect the authority within a church uh, of spiritual uh, uh, leadership in your life. You're not ever going to allow that. And you're just going to live the life of a rebel. And one of the things that the Bible says in Romans chapter 1, and it's, it's just a, it's a, a, a heartbreaking passage of Scripture as it talks about what happens when people abandon God and, and refuse to obey God, refuse to listen to God, and they exchange the worshiping the true God for worshiping the creation? and they turn to immorality, and they turn to idolatry, and then at the end of the chapter, it just it's this whole long list of things that happen. It says, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things. And then it says disobedient to parents. A mark of the reprobate mind, of a mind that refuses to love God, to trust Jesus, to even believe that God exists, is a disobedient child, disobedient to their parents, dishonoring to their parents. Hey, Mother's Day is coming up. Let's honor our moms. God bless you.